Hello and welcome back to another useful video of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. Being a researcher, I know how challenging it is to read hundreds of research articles, reviews and books for research, do a literature review and for academic writings. Reading and extracting relevant information becomes even more difficult if you are a young researcher. You might become overwhelmed by information overload and might even feel lost while reading. There might be instances when you do not understand specific terminologies and jargons. And more importantly, most researchers often waste several days and even weeks reading entire papers that even are not relevant for their study. In my previous video on how to read a research paper, I have shared several useful tips to efficiently read a research paper. If you have not watched it, its link is given in the description. In today's video, I will demonstrate how you can use a powerful AI tool, Paperball, to quickly and efficiently read multiple research articles, take notes, and write a great literature review, saving a lot of your crucial time and efforts. Paperball has several features useful in academic reading as well as writing. With its newly launched feature, Chat PDF, you can upload PDF of any research paper, review, thesis, book, or report and extract useful information within a matter of seconds. Here I am uploading one of our research paper to gain useful insights from it. Once you upload a PDF, you can see the document in the left panel. And on the right hand side, you can find some predefined questions you may ask and get relevant answers without even reading the entire paper. But first let's explore the options given over here. When I click on summary, it provides a short summary of the paper like what the paper is about, method followed, what are the key findings implications and future directions. Clicking on the related papers, you get the list of some of the papers related to this study that might be of your relevance and can be considered worth reading. You can directly navigate to the paper by clicking over the title of the paper. If that paper is published in open access mode, it will have a free access and you can get the full text. If it is published in subscription mode, like this one, you have to pay for it to read the entire paper. However, there are several ways to access paid articles ethically for free. You can refer this video and also those given in the description to learn more about it. You can ask from some most common and useful predefined questions from this PDF. For example, what are the main arguments made in this paper, summary of the discussion, significance of the study, if there are any assumptions made, strength and weakness of the paper, background of the study, aims, research questions, research gap, rationale of the study, limitations, data used, and several other important questions. Most of your reading efforts will get minimized using these predefined questions. At the end, I will also share how you can ask more specific questions to get more specific responses. Let's ask it to explain the context or background of the study. It will analyze the entire paper and write a brief background of the study. It starts with the regulatory and functional aspects of long known coding RNA in plants. Then there is a brief background about bread wheat and importance of resistance starch in health and commercial market. What are the limitations in existing knowledge that are being addressed in this paper? Thus even without going through the entire paper, you got the basic idea of the paper, question addressed and methods followed. Similarly, when I asked about the primary research question addressed in this paper, it has provided four key questions addressed. And being one of the authors of the paper, I can say the response generated is quite good. When I asked about the weaknesses and limitations of the paper, the response has really impressed me. You can pause and read it. Some of these were being pointed out by the reviewers when this paper was under review. For example, it says that the predicted long known coding RNAs and miRNA interaction should be experimentally validated. This can be really useful to improve your manuscript, plan certain experiments, and even can help reviewers to quickly review the papers. At instances, you may not be aware of certain terminologies or jargons. You can ask PaperPile to explain key concepts and definitions used in this paper. Here it explains briefly about key terms like long known coding RNAs, resistant starch, RS type 2 and type 5, amylose lipid complexes, DSC technique, LYPL, starch branching enzyme, CERNA, RNA-seq that are being mentioned in this paper. Now to test the true potential of PaperPile's chat PDF feature, Let's check its ability to generate appropriate responses based on customized and more specific prompts. Suppose you want to find a specific section or instances from the paper supporting a specific argument, then you can write a prompt like critically analyze the paper and tell if long known coding RNAs are involved in lipid biosynthesis, share specific instances and sections of the paper supporting this argument. You can alter the prompt as per your need. Remember that the more clear and more specific is your prompt, 
better the response it will generate. First, it has mentioned that the paper suggests long known coding RNA is involved in lipid metabolism, but this is largely correlative and predictive rather than based on direct evidences. Then it has shared all those specific instances which have supported this argument. It has literally scanned whole document and provided each and every section or instance where anything highly relevant to our argument has been mentioned. What the interaction study revealed, finding of the correlation analysis, what the expression analysis suggests, finding of DSC analysis about the role of long known coding RNA in lipid metabolism. Critical analysis provided all the limitations about our argument that this study relies heavily on correlative data and in silico analysis and that the study was not experimentally validated and others. The good thing is that by clicking on these numbers, you can directly see which section of the paper has been referred for a particular response so that you can read about them in detail. This way, even without reading the entire paper, you can get useful insights from that paper. You can ask for a specific results and how they were supported by experiments or data. Here I have written a suitable prompt and asked what were the major findings about long known coding RNA regulating resistant starch in bread wheat. Also provide how the results were supported by the data. After analyzing the paper, it has provided all the results from different experiments which reflects the role of long known coding RNA in regulating resistant starch. Next, it has shared the data, methods or analysis supporting these findings such as RNA-seq analysis, qPCI validation, correlation analysis and DSC. In the last paragraph, it has also mentioned that the findings were mainly supported by correlative data and predictive analysis and that further experimental validation is essential. If you are reading a research article and want to find out what research question it has answered or possible research question you can take up for your research, then you can write a prompt like this. What are the major research questions this paper has addressed? Also suggest possible questions that can be taken up for further research. In the first part of the response, you will find what research question it has answered. In the second part, you will find several possible research questions that can be taken up as a topic for future research. Another good thing is that you can copy these chats or responses and create your notes about individual articles in a separate document like MS Word. This way you can create summaries of multiple papers that you can quickly refer when needed within a matter of minutes. In this video, we have learned how using chat PDF feature of PaperPal, you can quickly read hundreds of research articles and other documents, extract useful information, get specific answers to your queries, take your notes and find related papers. This way you can save a lot of your time and focus on reading what is actually important. PaperPal also offers several other features like AI Writer which can help you write research papers, reviews or thesis quickly and efficiently. You can easily find papers to cite, templates for various documents and emails, create outlines for articles, check for plagiarism, perform journal submission checks and lot more. You can watch this video where I have demonstrated all these features in detail along with examples. You can try out most of these features for free. To enjoy the benefits of advanced features, you can upgrade your plan using my affiliate link given in the description along with the code to get 20% discount. I hope you find this information useful. Do check out my other AI and research and publishing series of videos. They will immensely help you in academic reading, writing and publishing. Comment below in case of any queries. I usually respond to them. Thanks and stay connected for more such useful stuffs.